Hi, welcome to a geometrical figures video having a look at applying the idea of similar triangles. In this question here we're told that the triangles below are similar already, we don't have to prove it or anything, but we can use the results of similar triangles, the, um, the rules for similar triangles, to be able to find the value of the letter in each case here. Now the rule we're trying to use here for similar triangles is that matching sides are in the same ratio. Can you see that X is matching with the side of 18? If you have a look at the position of the X and the 18 on their respective triangles, they're between the black dot and the arc here, and the black dot and the arc, so they're certainly matching each other. So we'll make a fraction out of that. We'll have the X, the missing letter on the top, that goes on the top left-hand corner, and we'll put it over 18. Now we'll also try and find a matching pair of sides that we're given. The 5 matches the 10 here. If you have a look at their position, they're both between the black dot and the open circle in each of the, uh, the two triangles. So they're matching each other. We'll go 5 over 10 there. And we've got a little uh, equation that we've made here. In order to get x on its own, solving this equation, we'll want to get rid of or move this uh, 18 that is effectively dividing on the left-hand side. Things that are on the bottom of a fraction divide into the top. So we'll need to, to move that dividing 18. We'll need to multiply both sides by 18. This is just solving basic equations. So we'll multiply the left-hand side by 18 and the right-hand side by 18 in the interest of getting the x on its own. On the left hand side, when we divide by 18 and multiply by 18, they'll cancel each other out, which is what we want. That'll leave us with x on its own, and we'll just calculate the right hand side there. Into our calculator we could type in 5 over 10 times 18, and we'll get an answer of x equals 9. So we've used the idea of matching sides in similar triangles are in the same ratio there to piece together an equation and discover the value of a missing letter. A different example here, there's uh, there two, uh, two similar triangles still, but they're just drawn in a strange sort of a way. But if we have a look at the things that are matching here, Y is the second largest side on the big triangle, and 9 is the second longest side on the small triangle. So Y and 9 match up. So let's put that in the first uh, in the first fraction here. Y over 9, the ratio of Y over 9, should equal something else from the Y triangle uh, over his matching. So you can see that 15 is from the, uh, the Y triangle. He should go on the top. And the 10 from the uh, other triangle should go on the bottom because they're both the longest side of their respective triangles there. They should match up. So we have 15 over... 10. Once again we want to find the value of y by getting it on its own. Let's multiply both sides by 9 so that gets moved from the left hand side there. So we'll multiply the left hand side by 9 and the right hand side by 9. At this point we're just solving an equation just like we would in uh, in our equations or our uh, algebra chapter. Uh, a 9 that's dividing and a 9 that's multiplying will cancel each other out leaving us with y on its own and the right hand side of that can be just typed into our calculator. 15 over 10 times 9 gives us a y value of 13.5. We don't always get whole numbers here, so that sounds about right. 13.5 for the value of y. So once again, we've used the idea that in similar triangles, sides, matching sides are in the same ratio as each other. Okay, here's a very strange sort of setup. It's uh, what I call overlapping triangles here. You've actually got two triangles there, but one of them is kind of hidden. You've got a, a smaller triangle and a larger triangle there. So uh, so they want us to find, the, the question asks us to find D. Now that is one of the sides of the big triangle. So uh, the side that's matching that on the smaller triangle here, I'll just draw the two triangles here. One of them's here, and the other one's the larger one. See how they're overlapping? Okay, so anyway, D is the longer side over there and the shorter triangle, the shorter uh, side that is in this matching position there is the 10. So we're going to go 10, uh, sorry, D over 10. So that's the this long side over the shorter one. And we want another uh, number, another value from the big triangle to go next up the top right hand side. We're going to put 21 over his matching. So it's got to be big triangle to small 
and then big triangle to small again. We need to be going in the same direction, otherwise we'll uh, not get the right answer. So 21 over 14 there. So D was matching the 10. They were matching each other in the position of them anyway. And then 21 and 14 are in the matching spots there. So we're piecing together that and we have an equation here that we will solve in the same way as the previous equa equation or two. We'll multiply both sides by 10 so that that bottom number of 10 uh, is cancelled out. That leaves us with D on its own and we'll type the rest in our calculator. And we get a value of... 15 for D. That's the length of that uh, that top missing bit there, D. So once again, same rule that we're basing this on, that uh, matching sides in similar triangles have the same ratio. So there's the small triangle, there's the big triangle, and so hidden in that are two similar triangles, and we're just uh, trying to match up the uh, the sides that are relating to each other. Now that's overlapping triangles, so um, we have the small one there and the big one there. There's an interesting uh, sort of system to this though. You've got to be really careful what you're doing here. It's no, and I'll put some letters on here, M and N for those sections of the diagram, P and R and S and T. Now it's it's got to be clear though that these sides aren't working in the same sort of system as each other. This M and N is uh, is sort of having a, an overlapping section. So I'll, I'll show you the ratios that we really need to take notice of here. The ratio of the small sides to the large sides here. We have M. This section is a small, that's the blue um, triangle side there. He is related to M plus N, the full length of that red side of the triangle there. We can't do a ratio of M to N because N doesn't uh, represent the full side of a triangle. We'll be really careful with these overlapping triangles here. We have another situation down the bottom there of the ratios here that are important are S to S and T. See how that represents a small side of the triangle and its corresponding uh, side on the bigger triangle there? But in a quirky sort of way, that doesn't work in the same way uh, for this bit here. P, the ratio of P to R can be done straight out because P represents the full side of the smaller triangle and R represents the full side of the bigger triangle. So that's kind of quirky there. And the reason that happens is that N and T here aren't able to be used straight out because they're not the full sides of the larger triangle we're trying to make. So um, yeah, quirky sort of a thing. It's almost like M and N, those sides there, and the S and T sides work on one system, and P and R work straight out as a, as a basic ratio. So be really careful with the overlapping triangle type questions. It's easy to get them wrong. And another quirky variation, we have diagrams that look like this that uh, seem like it's not really matching up any sides or angles there. But I've got a bit of a system for that. If you get a, a question like this and you can't really pick which side is relating to which other side, I want you to sort of have a look and see you've got a smaller triangle there. And uh, if we take those two vertices that are, the arrows are pointing to there and we swap places, then uh, we can keep the size of that size and shape of that blue triangle and just reorientate it so then we can match up the uh, which side is matching up with the larger triangle so if we swap that around and I'll just uh, change that um, black line that uh, was there we can see that that actually ends up being a traditional overlapping triangle so if we're careful to switch that smaller triangle either in our mind or on the page we can actually get it orientated like that previous example not that that was easy either but it gives you a chance to match up which side is actually um, aligning which with, with which other side in the triangles so watch out for those ones they're a bit tricky okay peterblakemass.com there's some trickier examples for similar triangles but uh, I hope that helps and uh, all the best with your studies